I'm extremely scared now that you said that, but sometimes we got to face our fears. We're just doing the first one, not doing two and three, so. Now, I believe there's an achievement that would do it on the hardest difficulty, so. You think it's 50 60? Is it shorter, D Dimitri? All right, wait. Now I'm really scared. Wait, we may do a, a 180 here. I, I'm I'm scared. Hold hold the phone on Mass Effect. <laughs> if you're 200, percent I mean, I didn't plan on like doing it. You know. All right, let, let's check the library here. We might do. Fuck, I don't know now. You got me scared. Oh, future, how you doing? I mean, not Diphthong, you're looking out for me here. You're looking out for me. I mean, I think we should probably just power through, see what we got. Uh, Because, like I said, we did new games. I was kind of looking at, like, the remakes remastered. It's like, what's short out of here? Uh, Yeah, let's just go for it. Worst case, like I said, let's say it is 50 to 60. If we do play Assassin's Creed, that, that could have been one. <laughs> that could have been one. Because <laughs> I, I know the long, the other ones are longer, but I figured the first one. We'll go to first. Welcome I also think. Alliance military database. Ooh, welcome in. Classified information requested. How you doing, future? Establishing secure connection. So I think it's gonna be very funny because I was secure thinking about this. Confirmed. Whenever we do like a game with like a character creator, um, just because it's um, Hollywood Hera, I think it's very funny if we like make it based on an actor or actress, kind of like what we did with um, um, Skyrim with Willem Dafoe. So let's let's put get let's get some names out there. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go. Please log in to access your profile. You know who we're gonna do? Um, famous celebrity. Give me one off the dome. Anyone? And we'll see if we'll make a good character creator. I'm real impressed by like people that rarely take character creators like seriously. Who's a good actor or actress? Marilyn Monroe. Damn, all right, I like it. Let's go Femin. Let's go Please log Fem Chef in to over access here. Your profile. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more Hollywood than Marilyn Monroe over here. This is gonna be funny. Oh, I can't change. I guess I do have to be Marilyn Shepard. That's fine. No, it's a good one. It's a good one, because I also like being Fem, fem Shep. Profile reconstruction oh, you complete. know what, though? Take it back. I can't Please be Femship. Sorry. To access your profile. Because I noticed an achievement to, to um, like romance the same person. I think all the way through. And no offense, I'm not romancing uh, Caden, and you'll see why very clearly. Um. All right. So we got. Can you be same sex? Maybe you can in Mass Effect. Maybe I'm a bigot right there. I'm gonna go guy though, just because I know. Uh, we're gonna go Denzel. For Denzel Washington. Diesel. God, if I could fucking spell here. Profile reconstruction complete. Uh, or go back. Can I change mine? How Please do I log in to access your profile? How do I change my? Oh, okay. Wait, let's. Please log in to access your profile. That was almost a mistake on my part. Did I fuck this up or? Oh. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. All right, what do we think Denzel would be? Spacer, colonist, or earthborn? Uh, you were born and raised on mind or small. When you were 16, slavers, you say, and enlisted, go colonist. I think that's a solid. Confirm psychological profile. Soul survivor. You had to overcome. Does this change the gameplay? It probably does, right? And I'm just fucking this up. Confirm 
confirm military specialization. Okay, now I think I do need to be one of these. We'll do uh, adept. Okay, engineer, what do we think? Engineer or adept? We'll go adept. Confirm facial identification. All right, I suck at character creation, so. Ooh, that looks like Denzel Washington, right? Now let's get as close as we can get here and then adjust. Dude, you can't go wrong with a glowing cro- Okay, I don't want to be stereotypical and just go with the first African-American. I can't even see, honestly. I... Is there not some with like some... Oh, Idris, I, I already picked the name right, because Idris Elba is a solid. Wait, you we may be we, we may be cooking. We'll go confirm, back. <laughs> confirm, please log in to access your profile. I think that's also probably easier as well. Alright, Idris Elba. Solid pick. Also, you're right, let's not make the chip the character creation art as part of this game here. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm All right, once again, colonist. History. That's definitely Idris Elba. He Confirm was British. Profile. Uh, um, now, I think Idris is probably more of a ruthless guy. We'll go Confirm ruthless. Military specialization. He should be a soldier, honestly, but we're going to go adept just because I think their abilities Confirm are cool. Facial identification. Right, change appearance. Yeah, exactly. We've seen Suicide Squad. All right, let's get him kind of scarred up. I don't think Idris is really scarred, but let's give him some. We'll go Suicide Squad, Idris Elba. Now, he does have... What does Idris Elba normally like? This is so funny. There probably are streams just of people uh, doing character creations, and I bet you they're impeccable. Okay, he normally has like a beard, like a full-on beard. Not too much, though, but... Yeah, something like that. Probably has pretty thick eyebrows, I would imagine. Black hair, um... I never really mess with, like, noses and stuff. Like, all this is kind of just, like, whatever, you know? Like, I, I'm cute. When you guys do character creators, do you actually, like, go through and, like, do all this? Or do you just kind of take one of the... Whatever they give you. I mean, that's, like, normal-ish, right? Jaw, mine, eyes. Color eyes does Idris have? Brown, I'm guessing? Yeah, sure. I just wish it was better, like... I don't know. Yeah, I think the shape... Oh, look at those cheekbones. Golly, that man. Yeah, I'm with you. That's. I think all that's a little too much. Just kind of get the general... I think that's... I mean, what... What hair? I think the hair is the thing that's... Whoa. I thought that froze. I'm like, wouldn't that be something? Yeah, let's get... I mean, also, he's ruthless, so it's like... It is weird, just because every time I play uh, Mass Effect, I always just go with the 
vanilla white bread, you know, shepherd. So anytime I do like an actual like custom character creation, he really just has a buzz cut most of the time, it looks like. Yeah, he has it real short most of the time. I feel like this is like stereotypical. Like, I'm not saying this is the best we've done, but. Yeah, I honestly say that's about it, honestly. Oh, you know what? I should look up like some fucking codes because I bet you some people make some absolutely. Is there a way to change voice or is that later? Profile reconstruction complete. Idris Shepard. Shepard. There we go. Ruthless, colonist, and adept. Sounds great to me. Identification confirmed. I know. That's what I need to do, honestly. Okay, so... Oh my god. Okay, so real quick before we embark upon this endeavor... One of these achievements is... God, I think you're right, Diphthong. I think this is going to be much longer than I thought. So, one of these achievements is... Complete all three games in Mass Effect on Insanity. So, I mean, I might as well just do that now, like... Alright, we're doing Insanity. Off. The original one will be used instead of the level... Oh, this is interesting. I don't know why that does that. Classic mode 1 through 60 instead of 1 through 30? I guess we'll go 1 through 30. Dude, insanity is about to rock my shit over here. We are set up for failure. We are set up for failure here. Okay, cool. Fuck it. Let's go. Uh, any of you guys have played Mass Effect before? Any of them? Space. The final frontier. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. Is that the Arbiter the over here? Shout out uh, Keith Meanwhile, David. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. That's true. That's that why I was cast in Suicide Squad. Want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make Dude, the call. My forehead looks so pronounced. I don't know if that was right, but... God, he looks gross. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very... All right, cool. Oh, future! You never heard of Mass Effect? It's a good game, real good game. Uh, two's probably the best, but I do like one though. I like the gameplay of one. As they went on, they kind of got away from the RPG elements. Also, let me know if this is loud. It sounds very loud in my. In range. Initiating transmission sequence. If the gameplay audio is too loud, I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Yeah, it's a it's a uh, Bioware RPG. Bit loud. We'll turn it down a bit. Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations. If this game friends. freezes on me, I'm gonna have a fucking conniption. Is that Idris Elba? Spitting image. <laughs> Have a mass 
Mass Effect. You could. Dude, this is so laggy, though. This does make me very concerned. I remember the game looking pretty good Thrusters, back on the 360. Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. Hell 1500 yeah. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. This was the man. If I went the woman route, yeah, I would have to fuck all three times, and I'm bathroom, not gonna do good. that. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You conspiracy paranoid. theorist. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Okay, now we also need to determine how we're going to play this. Are we going to play this as the good guy or the bad guy? Or neutral? Uh, This game is laggy. Oh my lord, I'm nervous. Play it like, uh, I'm assuming that Idris. Okay, he's a badass, you know. Um, but I don't know, he has range, that's the thing, like, he can play it as a dick, or he can play it as, um, I mean, man, the, the man's almost James Bond, potentially. Uh, let's say... You always expect the worst. That sounds just like him, doesn't it? What would Idris do? Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good... Joker, status report. Dude, this Just game. Relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. All right, uh... Golly, this game. All right. You probably don't want to keep the cap... The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched... Inspector, they're always on a mission. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, I thought Commander, you could change you voices in the first one. Maybe Turian that's in other ones. In trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Dude, because he's a fucking Spectres arbiter over here. Operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? Okay, I really, uh... I'll see if I can get some answers when I... I see him. Good luck, Commander. If this game really does do that, like, every... We are in fucking some trouble here. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Part of the job, Doc. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, I hope Doc, one day I work with Idris and I get to tell him that I played with him as Mass like Effect. Before. Not one with a Spectre on board. Um... Not one with a Spectre on board, uh... Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play here. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. 
We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw You know, I actually- I need to pick one way, because there is an achievement to get, like, all Paragon, all Renegade. So I was like, fuck, I really gotta pick my lane here. The captain's waiting for me. Alright, what are we gonna do? Idris as the hero, or Idris as the villain? We got Renegade points. We're going villain route. Also, Idris as a villain, there's a movie, uh, The Harder They Fall, it's a western. And Idris plays the villain that. It's a very good movie, and he does a very good job as the villain. But yeah, Idris Elba, villain. Lock it in. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. People give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I just got, I'm straight dick route here. I'm a marine. Not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? We'll find out. I hate this game already. This uh, mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime. No problem, Dipthong. We'll be here. Some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years. I fucking... This game. Years oh, ago, man. We are in trouble here. still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable. To independent. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. I don't like the this game. has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks... Look at his eyes! Jesus Christ! I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business. But you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Um... Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. Uh, hello see there, you Alan. How are you? To the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Spoilers. You will be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from screen. Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Get down! Attack, taking heavy 
casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. This report. is the worst frame out, right. Captain. Oh my no goodness. In the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. God, I did not know fucking Mass Effect was on the Atari over here with this fucking frame rate. It's atrocious. Gaging <laughs> stealth systems. Nice jet. Yeah, I picked it out myself. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muzzle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Oh, don't be a bigot over here. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Okay, so I have never played this game on Insanity. This is also before we even start this. Yeah, it's on Insanity. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Is there any missable achievements? I'm sure there are. Let's review real quick before we dive too too far in here. I think uh accumulate 75% of total, use charm or intimidates. Find all primary I mean, it's probably not missable, I would imagine, right? Dude, it takes so long to load a menu. This game is... Shoot these guys. Gotcha. I think this first game had ammo, if I'm not mistaken. Should I have killed those guys? I wish there was a better map system. I'll tell you that right now. That little mini map ain't doing much for me. I can probably... equipment how I just picked up something did I not
No, Jenkins. Where's Jenkins? We'll get you. Where are you, dude? Oh. Stay with me, Jenkins. Okay, never mind. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. Damn, I feel like such a dick. But, I mean, I guess I do have to. Not Jenkins, I know. R.I.P. Jenkins. Is this missable? That's the only thing I'm confused. I already missed one. Oh my lord. Is there a quick save? Wait, no. Do I have it? Maybe I have it. Wait. I think I missed it already. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. We fucking missed it. That is sickening. How do I leave this game? How do I leave this life? I cannot believe that. Can I? No, I... Alright, we gotta redo all that shit. Alright, we gotta speedrun this Welcome first part. To Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. And a new ID. We're going Please back. Log in to access your profile. Uh, custom Please mail. Log in to access your profile. All that for an achievement. Warning: data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. All right, colonists. Confirm psychological. Ruthless. Confirm military specialization. Adept. Confirm facial identity. Change appearance. Golly, I hate myself. I mean, I think we literally just changed the hair and gave him a scar, to be quite honest. Actually, let's change the... Kind of looks like Mr. T right there. So there's an achievement I got, or there's an achievement to unlock profile reconstruction complete. All the codex achieve or all the codex entries. And there's one that you can only get in the very beginning before you even leave the before you even leave the ship. So I have to go back and we do this. Uh, that's about it. Go, cool. Well, no, I would Shepard, 
I would think. Grew up in the can I skip this cup scene? He knows cut scenes? We already seen this. There. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Minduar. You were thinking the remaster too? God they would have fixed it. But. Killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is right, guys, that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I mean, I I'll will say the on the bright side, uh, I'm glad we did that now. Because if not, we would have been... Can I skip this, please? Come on, we've seen this. I know, this game... <laughs> This game's really uh, giving it to us right now. It's all right. We'll make it. We'll make it happen here. All right. Can we skip this uh, cutscene? The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Inquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. It's like we've seen this before. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Well, guys, if you didn't get the story the first time, Posters, check navigation. Check. You got a Internal second shot. Sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your Sorry, soldiers, Commander. act like it. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. So he says he's already here, but then later we go and Nihilus is by himself. Great. You pissed the captain off and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Doesn't make Only sense over here. Talking to you, Joker. All right, let's... The captain's waiting. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Don't tell me what to do. I told you I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. Yeah, Spectre, they're always on a mission. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. I don't Sorry, know Commander. if I need to talk to everyone, but... Down in engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. <laughs> I, I, it's funny, because I don't like to... I, I like to think I'm a nice guy in person, but yeah, when I have to play a video game while I'm a dick, it just is, like, not natural for me. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will 
I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to I say. just hate... You proved yourself on Torfin. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. <laughs> I know, I am not setting a well good example, them. but you know. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. The captain's waiting for me. All right, uh huh. It's funny though, I'm entertained. Well, that's good. Get to see Idris Elba be a dick over here. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get. Okay, so first. one of these dialogue choices that I missed, uh, the captain said he'd meet me here. Fucked me up here, way. so we'll do it this time. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there, but you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? You could say that. that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. It's dangerous to go is alone. Take this. Ready for this. I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years. Years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based it on... It is such a good technology. job, like, world building this in this game. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Um... Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent. I should have saved, because what if I've missed this Sharing up again? that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. The What's Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. <laughs> Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human yeah, in Stop. I, I, some of these Not answers are already resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see Guys, this is going to be a quiz at the end of the stream on um, what are these the plot spectres. points are, so hope to take a note. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. 
I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Uh... Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you. Okay, so this is what I missed here. And I thought I selected this. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Okay, real quick, let's just go through all about these. Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. Uh, future? Oh the gosh, I'm trying to think of a story. Um, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth, it symbolizes. Humanity's I got a quote space on space my uh, rib cage. It's from uh, JFK. Uh, do not pray for easy lives. Pray to be stronger men. It's one of my favorite quotes, but not a real story. Why it's funny. I don't so like to get too much text. Like, I like to get images. So I kind of wish I got an technology. image to represent that. But if we hadn't discovered those Protheans that's one of them. buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong like hands? You. The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Okay, I feel the like Attican maybe Traverse this is a lot. Citadel protection. I think we probably have if this. The Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. Some of the uh, do you have any future? Might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low. Real quick, we're gonna do this one more what time just to make sure we got it. Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled. The I'm all about tattoos. I got so many of them. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Yeah. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Joker? Nikola... Uh... Joker? Transmission uh, from great. Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. No, I get that. I... I got my first one while I was 15, so... <laughs> we are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't... Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing River i don't know why this cuts out so often it really hurts my soul First, hold of i spent good money on a game remastered Status from report. 2007 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. Suit up. In. But no, I totally get that future. Like, all my tattoos mean, like, something to me. I would never go in, like, a tattoo shop and just pick systems. one. All right, guys. Well, you know, extra 30 minutes later, and we're back in the Somebody game. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. 
Yeah, made for Your these fucking the achievements. In operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Oh, Let's go. You're coming with us? I move faster on my own. I think his voice was different Nine that time. Ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood, Ready Captain. Enable, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. No, poor Jenkins is doomed yet again. Hey, we don't know we that. Maybe he makes it this time. Two. Okay, let's see for the love of God. Did this actually work? 50,000 years ago, the... Okay, it did. Beautiful. Now, I don't even know, honestly, this game is lagging like crazy over here. This place got hit hard, Commander. Keep your guard up. Do I have to kill these guys? Maybe I don't even have to kill them. Let them live. Ooh, that was a different thing than I got last time, though. Do these things hurt? Man, I was just killing some innocent aliens over here. What a terrible part. I mean, I was a dick to every crew member there, so that probably is in my MO, but. Jenkins, go out ahead. Scout. Oh shit, Trump. No, Jenkins! Not again. Also, once again, let me check and make sure we're even doing this correctly. Dude, what if I quit game right there? I would have died. Insanity. Okay, cool. Oh, can I up up res these graphics over here? No. Increased resolution favors frame rate. What should I do? Favor. F Let me see frame rate. Maybe that helps. Dude, that is crazy. Like, wait. So I suck at telling, uh,. Like 60 and 30 FPS. I don't know if that's automatically like adjusted. Holy shit, wait. This is quality. I don't know, maybe that's about the same. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. That's a screenshot right there. <laughs> Forget about them. Leave them. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. Also, you know, they're giving me, like, bad points for, uh, like, being dick, but these guys all saying, aye, aye, sir, so they're kind of buying into the... I remember in the main game, or like in the base game, you press like select to throw grenades. It made no sense at all. I'm curious if it... No, it's not the same. Okay. I wonder if there is... Oh, I can switch. I got sniper. Ooh, okay. Um...
All right, now I think this is... God, this is gonna be... You know what it is? It's... It's not even the frame rate, it's the fucking sound mixing. Whoever did this, man, you need to. I wonder, wait, 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 let's see here, because this is fucking ridiculous. I doubt there's anything you can do, like... Golly, that was atrocious. Oh. Thanks for your help, Commander. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? What happened here? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? Dead. We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Uh, I'm not gonna criticize her, because this is one of my romance options, so let's keep that open. I'm not gonna be a dick to her. Any idea what kind Anyone of Anyone else, though. I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Uh... You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. It's time for payback. Uh, this is one of these... What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. God, look at these facial animations here. Power to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry, like I said, no Turians. Move out. God, this game, dude, is. I did. We get it. I do like also that it's uh the Geth. It's just what is it? The species like codex ones. Makes it kind of easier. I say that. Watch, watch me miss this. Ooh, light human scorpion. How do I equip some of this stuff? This is what's... Uh, I'm assuming that's better, right? Uh... Uh, did, okay, so that's cool. Get the shield battery. We like it. Oh, you know what else? Where is this? Here we go. Oh, is this me? This is me. Okay, never mind. I gotta remember so much shit here. 
Can I shoot? It's loud. Oh, dude, listen to this fucking James Bond 007 music right there. Okay, so they changed it from select, so that's good. So this should be it, honestly. I do like that it highlights stuff to pick up. It really does make that easier. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. I thought that press B to attack was going to stay there. Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Uh. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Dude, I bet you the whole crew's like, man, our commander's such a dick. And then, um, change of plans, Shepard. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. And then they see me being like nice to the girls, and I'm just like, mm. looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Not for long. Well, what should we do here, guys? Begin manual override. Easy. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Not for long. Humans, hurry! Thank the me. Close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Probably. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. Some noble no marines over there. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? <laughs> Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? Oh man, this guy's no a hope? nihilist no. over here. I am not mad. I'm the He also only has one hell of a widow's life. peak. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Am I gonna kill this innocent guy? No, I'm not gonna be that barbaric. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. I should have, I should have blasted this guy. Man, no, no fucking. You're wasting your time. The age of you. Manuel, I need to ask you something. It's probably best if you just leave him alone. I don't have time for this. 
Man, I don't remember. So, like I said, when I normally play games, I do, like, kind of the good person, good guys. Um. Uh, this is actually one where I started, I did a renegade run before. And I don't think I killed them blatantly. Maybe I did, though, but. Assault rifle, sniper rifle. Saren. Dude, whoever mixed this sound, I hate you. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. No, Nihilus! Oh shit, first we lost Jenkins and then Nihilus? Man, today takes a heavy toll on us. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. I'm gonna change some of this audio because this seems loud as fuck for me. So I'm sorry. I'm probably blasting you guys. Uh, sound effects will go down a bit. Music will go down a bit. Dialogue, I think, is fine. Come on, buddy. Show me what you're working with. Gotcha, baby. All right, do you think we're gonna have another crazy scientist over here? Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming Is out, it safe? we're are not they armed. Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on Dude, the one thing in the future, hair start. loss, man. These we widow peaks over here. First showed up. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. Don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Um... What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? See, now I think I should talk to people. I wasn't going to. God, this game. Uh, I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near tell the Tell them spaceport. about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned, only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. See ya. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me, some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our shed. Uh, what kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Dang, if I was a little more of a renegade. Let's move out. 
luck. I know you still got some good stuff in there, so don't try to lie to me. Shaking down these poor farmers for everything they're worth. Alright, let's go with a better pistol. What do I have? A striker or a stinger? Can I put two things in here? Oh, I can't. No, I can only put one. Yeah, I think the pistol is going to be the way to go, and then I think... Yeah, I think that's good. What do you got in here? Oh, I can open that. You... I shake down this guy again? You need something? Yeah, give me your shit. I have to go. Good luck. I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch of shit, but maybe I'm not... Oh shit, Nihilus. No. Commander. It's not Yeah, but there's an upgrade kit over here, Caden. Don't be a fool. Alright, now we can talk to uh Nihilus. Nihilus! Something's moving over behind those crates. Blast them. Wait, don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I'm sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go? He jumped after on the cargo Niles. train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was. This man looks sad over here. It's gone to hell since we found it. First, that damn mothership showed the mother up. Mothership. The attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. What were you doing, man? Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. Me and you both, man. <laughs> I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? I don't know, should I harass? I'm not gonna harass that guy. We need to find Take that the cargo train. It's too late. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. If I could get my biotic powers, that would be appreciated. Where's this Geth trooper that's shooting? Oh, I do have it. Okay. What is this? Throw? Oh, 
someone's about to get fucking blasted over here. Oh, that's probably gonna blow up in our face. Or that's gonna definitely blow up in our face. Golly. Am I taking health damage or... Wait, you know what? I'm gonna just... Okay, get rid of that because that definitely would have got us. I keep doing the... Pop your head out there, buddy. more harassment the better well i'm not gonna say you know straight up harassment but you know a little rough around the edges maybe set the charges destroy the entire colony leave no evidence that we were here I think this is like a... I'm trying to remember this cutscene. Man, a loading screen right before the cutscene? Shocking. This is a longer entry level than I thought it was going to be. one oh, I was about to blast my own teammates over here Warp do damages. Good. Alright, this is where uh, insanity is kicking in over here. Oh, Caden's dead too. Fuck. Okay, can I revive this guy? Sniper, sniper, not gonna get me. Oh boy, when, when did we get?
we must have had an auto save, right? Fuck. Insanity's actually pretty difficult. Granted, I know I'm like a weak little youngling over here with my force powers, but. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Yeah, probably. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Damn, first death over here. What is this, Cuphead? Shout out to Cuphead. Okay, let's go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go backwards. Go backwards to go forward. Now, this is not looking great for me. You know, Kaden and Ashley have a switch now on the... I gotta get... Dude, I need my shield to recharge over here. This is what's taking forever. Fox Sniper. Almost got me again. Now, I don't know how you revive people, then. I guess maybe it's just... Oh, that's a miss, I think. There's a scene in SWAT, like the movie SWAT with Samuel L. Jackson, where they have to, uh, it's like a, a test hostage situation. I feel like I'm in that right now. Let's... Also, if they were going to blow up a whole colony, you think only four bombs would do it? I doubt it. Also, again, I'm taking cover against a nuclear bomb over here. Shout out Oppenheimer. Let's see what we got. What is it? Uh, overheats nearby. Oh, he can throw too. Throw that shit. There you go. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I don't think that's going to do anything. Maybe. Dude, insanity is fucking hard over here. It's crazy going with the highest difficulty. It will really fuck me over, but here we are. Any chests? Any items? Now, I was always confused, not confused, I should say, but I was always conflicted on if I should romance Ashley or Liara. Heavy armor, medium armor, garbage. Can't use both. Can't use either. Also, is there a level up? Did I imagine this? 
probably have been running around with a level up and just... Nope. Squad. That's where I want to go. Here we go. Uh, basic armor. Shield boost. That's a pretty good one. Unlock pistols. Oh. Adept. Reduces... Um, <laughs> logically, I think basic armor is probably our best to get pistols. I mean, we do got a lot of points, honestly. Yeah, let's just go for a bunch. Uh, barrier. Go with adept. And one more basic armor. What is this? Okay, cool. Should be good. Dude, can I get some fucking pistols over here? That's the only thing I'm gonna be shooting. I feel like Idris would not be, uh, adept, honestly. I think I kind of fucked up there. Okay, so this should be it. Investigate this bad boy. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. No Roger problem, Norman. Dimitri. Standing I appreciate by. you being here. What happened with the car, if you don't mind me asking? Dude, I'm telling you, whoever sound mixed this, shame on you. No, don't touch it. Too dangerous. Dude, Shepherds. We lost Jenkins. We lost Nihilus. We lost Shepherd. Game over over here. Mass Effect. Lots of death. Distinguished Service Medal. Godly, that was... I do hate the shape of these Reaper ships, though. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. This human must be eliminated. Oh, Dimitri, I'm sorry that happened. I'm glad you're safe, though. That's a big thing. I thought someone might have stolen it. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. If Sandra was early trying to protect that beacon, he had it. I don't know why he didn't fucking keep it or use it or destroy it. That's kind of on him, you know? Doctor. Dr. Chakwas. I think he's waking up. I'm up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Please call me Idris. Um... I'm gonna be 100% honest and transparent with everyone here watching. I find Ashley extremely attractive. I think everyone does, but you know. Let's not, let's not mess around with what we're about here. Uh, not great. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? 
About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. Okay, I'm not when you zoom play. in on her face, I should say, because then it kind of distorts the... Uh... Yeah, I gotta be nice here too, because, you know, eyes look kind of dead. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I'll say thanks. I appreciate it. Physically. Damn, fine. do you see that look? Ooh, buddy, we're cooking over here. Unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. You know, I only have alpha Your waves over there. Come on, then, doctor. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Uh, more like a nightmare. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death. Destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Uh... Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking Again, into down there. haven't been outside the veil in That's two why centuries, things went to hell. Nobody could have predicted this. Uh. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Damn. I, I mean, like you said, I can't be a dick to her, so. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. Um... Like, I don't... Some of these answers are, like, are good, but it's not, like, the dick thing. Uh... The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. Sorry, future. <laughs> I stand behind you and your report. You're right. I, I gotta be. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other took. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Ooh, uh oh. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He hates humans. Why? Big hit. He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. Who, me or because Anderson? <laughs> or both? I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Damn, Any shots fired, future. Might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness. Dude, I'm telling you, the sound guy. We're gonna watch these credits, and we're gonna find out who did the sound, and we're gonna write a strongly worded email. Um, our death? I don't know. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some... Ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. Ooh, uh -oh. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can help I'll it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Uh, we expose them then. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. 
We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Damn, we got some drama going on here. All right, let's go try to find Ashley. This is the real game here, to get laid. I feel like I should go with Liara, just because, like, I know when this game came out, everyone made such a big deal that you could, like, have sex with an alien. Hey, Ashley. I'll, uh, let me talk to the doc first. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Personal questions. Did she end up serving on an Alliance ship? Man, I am I dark over right there. I out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. That's me. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my... God. It's one thing if it's like the music would at least play through. The wrong choice. Constantly. Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Oh, well, I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 Whoa, outdated model Sometimes over there. Complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets my... Uh, let's talk about, Captain, you know Anderson. about Captain Anderson. I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. I should Goodbye, go. Commander. Uh, Caden, my boy. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. All right, you don't want to talk to me. Cool. Shepherd's locker. Grab those? Sure, why not? <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Oh damn. Um okay, I I should say mm. Alright, see ya. <laughs> I need Goodbye, to go speak with Joker. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge, Commander. Oh, the old Mass Effect elevator. I remember that. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. What is this? Oh. Codex entry. Oh, I get experience with Codex entries. Alright, it actually does kind of make sense to, like, do all this talking. Fuck, we just really increased our time on this. Hello, Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. This is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Ooh, we docking over here, boys. Yeah, 
I kind of wish you could skip cutscenes, though. Some of these are just a little too... A little too cinematic, if you know what I mean. Also, I am praying to God none of this music gets copyrighted or flagged, because we're in trouble. They're playing a lot of them songs. Look how picturesque this is. This is like a Halo ring. This is an outrage! Okay, the never mind. would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. Dude, the fucking widow peaks in this game. Of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. This man's yeah. lips look chapped over here. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. You fuck this guy. They're blind. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> if they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. He's not even looking That's at me Saren's when he talks fault, to him. Not his. You then tell him, Anderson. Hope the c investigation turns up evidence it's a popular hairstyle issue, maybe. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. You fuck the Spectres. We don't Come need them. With me, Captain. Terrible James so Bond movie. A few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Alright, so... I believe... Alliance Patrol Report, Captain Hendrickson... In the patrol of Argus, she had a picture of her, blah, 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 no patrols are scheduled. I want to send in the recon team. We'll go there. Alright, is this... So, like I said, I do like that it highlights stuff to, like, look at. You just gotta kind of be looking in the right direction. It's a big plus. It's always good to see your kind. Great to see you too, Kalen. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Tell me more about your species. Tell me more. Enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell Sorry, I'm trying to get this achievement, so we gotta do a history lesson here. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council's space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species. This man has a bane station. face going on here. Uh, elk. Tell me more about Fuck. this species. Okay. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is agreeable to share our culture. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Do I just need to get that one? I am. The Elcor, Elcor the Geth, Geth, are a humanoid race of... The Elcor are a citadel species... Ruff... Uh, nah, El the Elcor are a citadel species native to the high gravity... The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of... Oh, the Volus is, uh... Enjoy your time on the Hello scene. there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can Dude, do to my help? guy is dark Alarm over response. here. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. 
and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. A uh, consort? Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You is this like a to the Citadel. prostitute? An escort? Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I cannot speak more. What happens when you problem. click on it? I'm curious. It is too sensitive. There's also a link down below. To say, uh, she has below to stream. Can you try that one? Uh, Where can I find this Asari consort? Let me know if that works, actually, because now I'm nervous. She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Is this... EarthClan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. Let me see what happens when I click on this, actually. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Uh, it works for me, uh, Future. So I don't know. Um. Uh... I don't know, now I'm nervous. But yeah, let me know if it works for you. Oh boy, uh, Volus. I'm like sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Well, I don't know. What? <laughs> let me know I said I that, like Earth know Clan. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. What was it Bitcoin? Ethereum? However, Let me know. I gotta get it on the ground floor. Association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Uh... You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new. I should time how much of this. The council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Oh, now Most I'm nervous because, it, like I said, it works for me. Let me see what's coming to the citadel. <laughs> Are you on your phone or on your on we your still computer? Have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Let me see. It may not work, but I'm curious. On my phone, it still works as well. I can um. Let me send it to you. I'll do it at. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. I'll uh, try to send it to you uh, later, future, and we can see if that works. Or Dimitri, I don't know if you're there. If you can try to send them a link. For the uh Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual it is intelligence uh, Cortana. program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. 
I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Try using that one, see if that Give takes the there. Tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism. I don't want to see one. the tour. I'd want to know about so I can get this. The embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Uh. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians. The two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Sounds too perfect. It's not real. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Uh, have we met? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant. <laughs> do you guys hear that? Now my things. Oh, here it is. Never mind. I know why. Disregard that. Uh. I'm gonna get rid of that. Cool. Uh, busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Alright, let's... We gotta start hurrying this up here if we're gonna make it. In a timely manner. Diplomat, hello! Can I do some? I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Codex, perfect. Tyrion, perfect. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Uh, Dimitri, can you do me a favor? Click on the links that spawn normally, as well as the link below. See if it works for you too. Now I'm, you got me fucked up here, uh, future. Uh, my fellow, you've been selected to receive because of your shared plight. We got a cult going on here. No. Executor Palin. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Uh, who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. Yeah, well, we're pretty awesome. Wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. Oh man, this guy's jealous over here. Are we done here? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Oh boy, is that on the About Me section, or is it the one in the chat that auto-generates that says that? Or both? 
don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Both for you, fucking a. What do you want? Oh, commander. Yeah, look at this man's haircut. Golly. Relax, private. This isn't an inspection. Should be on that haircut. Golly. What can you, commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. it I know, this haircut is to something. Go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun. I'll, uh, I'll mess around with it, uh, tomorrow. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? <laughs> Did Shepard just going yeah, around and, like... Uh, ...created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest, if you'd like. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. One of these guys is supposed to, like... I, like, scan these guys or something. I get something for... Alright, fuck you too, lady. Uh... To be honest, I don't use Discord as much as I should, so it's all kind of the Wild West for me. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Deuces. And thank you for using Avena. To CSEC Academy, to the, to the Citadel, Citadel Tower. Is there anything down here? There's like nothing down here. What was the point of this? It just sent me on a loop. This is across the bridge. No, I appreciate it. You have definitely telling me. I don't know. Fuck, so it's like... Yeah, I guess I gotta change something about, like, invites or whatever, but we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out tomorrow. Hopefully by next stream we'll make it all happen. But yeah, I, listen, future, I'm all, I'm real big. If there's something you see doesn't work or something you think I can do better, please let me know. I'm a simple man over here, I don't have all the answers. What is this? Where are we going? Who are you? Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I need Can't an appointment. I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? She's like a prostitute. It's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Told you. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she mystical? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many. Uh, I wish you could skip services. these. Uh, but if you wish to leave your name, I, I meant to make an appointment. But all right, whatever. Fuck it. I think I'm done here. Yeah. See ya. Oh, 
Well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Ooh, buddy, VIP access yes, over of course, here. Mistress. Oh, this woman, look at this. Damn, I don't know. Ashley, you may be out of a job here. The consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Sure, why Where not? Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a pilot back on Earth. It's great. Doesn't do you any good out here, does it? Alright, let's go see what this lady's all about. Oh, look at that sex pod over there. This lady's about it. Hello. That is close enough, Commander. Alright, come. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Um... I don't know... Mm. You wanted to speak with me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem. It is funny how much of a dick I am to like normal people, but this like an attractive a girl. A Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to All right, so these guys fucked. Um, like I got. Don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, is I she hugging me or what's that? What is that? Is that a whisper? Dude, my boy's probably bricked now up I must right ask now. You to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Damn, typical woman. Get, gets what she wants out of a man and then just throws me to the curb. Yeah, hate to see it, America. Yeah, hate to see it. Few are ever asked to aid Shaira. It's quite an honor. Right. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back anytime. This is really a game. I mean, I think the gameplay itself is gonna be quick, but just all the talking and like all this is gonna be a fucking lot. We'll see. Hey, look at that. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal Three. Here in the financial district, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Why did the council fight so hard to keep the statue? Oh my god. The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Uh, that's all for now. I'm just trying to find some Thank fucking codex. Have a pleasant day. Oh, uh, this jabroni over here. No, I am such a wimp. Terrible, terrible wimp. Uh, I did play Resident Evil. That's about my extent of like scary games. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Personal questions. Who are you? This one's face. Why are you big Delan into uh, scary many games? In this place simply refer to it as Delon. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. 
Uh, your speech. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Man, shots fired over there. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. No problem. Hey, Dimitri, I appreciate it, uh, as always. And, you know... Who are you? We'll be back at it again on Monday. This one's face name is Delaninder. Okay, no I gotta stop refer to it as Delan. asking these people things. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. I'd like to buy something. Show me your items. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Uh, view standard items. Sure, why not? Shotgun. 70,000. Golly Moses. What do I have equipped right now? I got better armor than that. Okay, so. Oh, I guess some... Um, Well, let's buy that, sure, why not? Okay, let's see. We gotta make sure we get these fucking... The Asari, Sorry, roughly... Torians. The Elcor, Elcor the Geth, Geth, the Han Anar. The Volus, the... Okay. The Elcor. I am missing one that's upsetting me that I can't find it. Hey, you got any goods I can rob you of up here? Look at the shaky cam over there. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final... <laughs> so I do know uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, but I... You spying on I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavan. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Uh, personal question. Tell me more about your job. I gotta stop. Okay, we really do need Galactic to stop talking. Finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. Well, there we go. Make some money. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Is this legal? Sounds pretty shady. What are you, a cop? Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. Sometimes I gotta. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. I don't buy it. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope he will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Dang, he Let said get go. out of here, brokey. Goodbye, Commander. Damn. Cut me deep right there. I really hope this is all kind of just like. You got something to say, Ashley? Art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue, I like. Cool. Um. Oh, here we go. Please do not disturb the keepers. 
Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation I wish and I had four arms. of the entire I bet you station. would get a lot more of them before. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. I, why here? Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Uh, did we get... I didn't even see. After the Elko. When the Asari discovered the Citadel, they also dis... Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I guess, fuck. Let's go up to the Citadel. See what we got. Yeah, this is the classic Mass Effect elevator. You love to see it. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. You listen to the elevator music, though. That's a bop. That was pretty quick, though, I will say that. I, I should become a specter here, I think. And I think that would maybe be a good, uh... Garrus! Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. All those species Your entries. Uh, we ain't reading it all. But... Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You blew it. <laughs> Come across anything I should know about? I like Garrus too. I don't want to be Sarah mean to my crew members. I want to be mean to other people. I couldn't find anything solid, but I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. We do say that. The council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Garrus, I have a feeling we'll be uh, hanging out again soon. Dude, man, look at this man's white suit. All whites dripped out over here. Is there any, like, thing off to the side? I feel like there has to be, right? What video game makes just all this empty space and doesn't do anything with it? Come on now. It's madness. And I fall for it every fucking time. Let's talk to Ryu Admiral Kohoku. No, I'm waiting to speak. Commander? Commander? It's not. Guess he doesn't want to talk to us. There's something with these keepers. I know there's like a quest or something where I have to scan them. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Is man just sleeping over here? Sleeping on the job over there. Dang. Guy's tuckered out. Future, I feel bad for you, because watching this for the first time and not knowing, like, about Mass Effect, you're probably like, what the fuck is all this? Captain Anderson, how you doing, man? Long time no see. The hearing's already started. Come on. 
Showing up late to my own hearing. That's a great way to make a good first impression. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. And I oh, what game are you playing? Kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Oh, who do you mean? A fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Uh, You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. Damn, Saren's talking what shit over expect? here. What from a human. Uh. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Oh, am I? We're going off here. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence. Ooh, Banjo Kazooie. Great game. Speculation. I streamed the uh, Banjo Tooie. Bad, Commander Shepard. Uh, You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Yeah, that was a real edge of your seat this courthouse trial right there. Look how sad Udino looks right now. Uh, I have not played it on stream. I like to think I'm decent at it. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the I thought about streaming it sometimes. Motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I don't trust him. Nah, he could be useful. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that lizard. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I don't you like this. just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation? The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower... Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. Yeah, I'll tell you Bar what. Vaughn, one of the top <laughs> I have an ingrown, like, he might know something uh, about ingrown nail right but now. His information won't come cheap. Um, you, and have a history. you might tell him is like, so swollen. It's hard to play, honestly. About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. 
but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I. Um... So oh, allegedly God, there so is um, He's uh, something I can get from this the for a codex entry. The always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Um... Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal My thumb is so swollen right now. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests too. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. Um, okay, I think that's probably... You and Saren have a history. God damn it, I hate doing... About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Right, see ya. I'm done. Go. I'm done with this conversation. Luck, I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. I need this fucking codex entry so I can... Ooh, level up, baby. Also, I just realized, can I level up... I can level up these guys. No, that's me. It's only me. Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay. Uh... Okay, so we're just gonna level up, uh... Now, I... Throw lift barrier stasis, uh... The Asari... The second... Roughly tw The Asari were the first species to dis... Roughly. Okay, so we got that. Ooh. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Up to some... What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Uh, oh, is this the. Uh, is there something you want? This is the quest I think I was looking for here. Why are you so interested in the keepers? Yeah, you creep. Keepers? I've got no interest in the... Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. This is the one. I had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly. When do we start? It's not really Shh. worth getting arrested over. Um, I could help you out. I'm not worried. I mean, about honestly, this game is a lot of like RPGs and like decision. Uh, I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I and this is also like the home help. base. Like this. It's the scanning. So once we go to other planets, we'll start blasting again. Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. 
I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. I wonder if this game, maybe this game isn't the best for streaming just because it is so like dialogue heavy. Also, maybe not. Who knows? No, Commander. I wonder... I don't know. I'm confused. Alright, I mean, what time are we at here? I think we're almost probably done. We'll keep exploring a bit and see. Yeah, not an, not an action-packed first stream, but that's alright. We gotta... Oh, dude, what another banger over here. Dude, Ashley's probably. I hate politics. Um, dude, Ashley's tall over here because I mean she's not that that much shorter than these two guys who I'm assuming are pretty tall for if they're you know soldiers. refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Um... If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Uh... I the guess... The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. Oh man, what a bigot over there. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I'll be back. I'll be back this when I'm will continue to spread its message. When I'm an even bigger dick and I'll scare you off, but until then. What is this to the wards? Guess we're going down this way. We might do some blasting down here, honestly. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you just He sounded so because. different I there. I the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Isn't there also I feel like my uh Alright, let's see what we got here. I think once we actually explore this place, it's not that big. It's just... He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. Ooh, about to bust up That's over. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Hello, are you guys up to some criminal activity? Perhaps? Yeah, we're probably about to blast that guy. Ooh, a keeper. Scan that. I think if you scan all the keepers, you do get something. God damn, I gotta go. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. 
Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Man, look at us getting some high quality news over here. Freeze. Look how pretty that looks. That's a postcard right there. Big place. Is that your professional opinion, sir? Um. Uh, how can they keep tabs on all of this? Presidia may as well be on another planet. There is definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Uh... No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. FNGs? I doubt it's personal. It's got to be a balancing act, like every other government. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. What's FNGs? I gotta know. Aye, Commander. I got to know. I think he... Shepard? Oh, can I like punch one of these reporters? I'm Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working oh, about the I don't know if I deck this I one. A moment of your time? Oh, what is it? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Uh No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. I gotta be a Thank bigger dick here. You won't I don't want to shut down, like, quests, though, because I gotta get, like, money and gear and all that. Alright, let's... It's a nightclub over here. What is this, just a bar? Uh, <laughs> Olish Shopper. Best place on this ward. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Man, I have not played a Bioware game in a long time. It's very Bioware-y, you know? Uh, it's probably good to buy all the licensing, I would imagine. Omni tool, that's for, uh... Ooh, is this one better than mine? Uh, yes it is, by a good bit. Conrad Werner, this is a guy. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Who are you? Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Um... I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. Damn, I think I shot... I don't... What was that? Did I lose a quest? I probably did. Oh, he still is, like, active. Okay, cool. 
Like, I got, I want to get Renegade points, but I gotta start being a bigger dick over here. The cost of being a dick. It's true, yeah. I'll be a big dick, but I just won't have any, uh... Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want any, uh, supplies, yes? Money or anything? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. You non-human armors. What is non-human? Oh, interesting. Okay. Didn't know I needed to do that. Uh... I mean, honestly, though, I think, yeah, you're right. Just maybe... I don't know if money is going to be super tough to get. Like, I don't foresee that. Maybe. God, this is bigger than I uh, anticipated. This... I thought the map wasn't going to be this huge, but it looks very... Is this... I have no idea where the fuck I am. Um... Oh, I could go out that way. I knew I could. I don't know why. All right, let's... Time we're at. I feel like we're at a good stopping point. We'll get to this. Is this the way to lower markets? Where am I going here? Oh, this way. Take him out. That's him. Oh, shoot. So much for blasting over here. Dude, I, insanity is no joke. I cannot. I'm playing this like a fucking Call of Duty game here. I gotta be more tactical. I, I did get the quick save though, did I not? Did I scan this guy? I think I did. i make sure I got the scan. Uh, did I get this guy now? I'm confused. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I thought I would have got it by now. All right, let's try this one more time. That's him. Caden's fucking dead over here. Get up, Caden. Good to go, Commander. Were you? Because you were just dead about two seconds ago. Oh, we're about to go talk to a stripper over here. Oh, you can't get lap dances in this, I remember. Oh, all right, this is gonna be a good starting point. This is gonna be a funny, funny, funny starting point. <laughs> oh, 
Finally, something interesting. <laughs> Listen, all all the uh, chatter was worth it to see some alien strippers over here. Uh, I think this is fine. I don't remember. Uh, I, yeah, we'll do all that next time. Hate to leave you hanging over here, future, but on the edge of your seat. Potentially some blue balls, too, but that's all right. Part of the game.